What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. I have another guest replay for you guys to check out today featuring my good friend VHD Jokers. This channel is slowly becoming the VHD Jokers channel. With the amount of replays that I'm going to be showcasing featuring Jokers' gameplay and the amount of videos that I already have uploaded showcasing his gameplay, this I might as well rename this channel to VHD Jokers because it's not me anymore. I mean, let's face it. But I'm still I'm still sort of present here and there. Insert troll face. But guys, another great game to check out from VHD Jokers. This time he's taking out the Tier 9 Czech medium tank, the Skoda T50, here on Arctic Region, and it is snowing, so Arctic Region is looking even more arctic and considering that christmas is approaching it's making the it's making the whole christmas thing feel a little bit more real right now but jokers has pushed forward to the c2 location and is just waiting for this type 59 or another enemy tank to push around the corner so that he can get some decent shots into him but the skoda t50 has a three clip auto loader one of the fastest firing auto loaders in the game. And a very deadly 100mm gun. This tank is the predecessor to the TVP 5051. Arguably the most dominant medium tank in the game right now. Probably not even arguably. Just. It just is. But. You, this tank gives you a taste of what to expect from the TVP 5051 and uh, with someone like Jokers behind the wheel you really do get a sense of just how good this tank is. Three rounds, quick succession, quick reload, well relatively quick reload considering that it is an auto loader but he's already got three hits of damage out and gets into some decent cover before waiting for his reload to finish and then he's just going to poke out again and undoubtedly finish the leopard prototype off as we can see here one first one missed second one goes through but the leopard's reloading and jokers isn't so he takes him out unfortunate for the first shell not to hit but now he's up to five hits of damage and he has his first kill of the game he's going to swap his attention to this side of the map there was a t32 and a Tiger 1, but an enemy T-34 has pushed forward. Jokers gets some assisted damage for lighting him up. And he lights the two mediums up in the dip as well. And gets some assisted damage on those guys. But he decides not to engage them. Instead, taking a different position to engage them from. Unfortunately, getting a little bit of lag right here. As you can see, the red bar in the corner. No idea what's going on with the game. Seems to be a common theme in Jokers' replays. He needs to sort his connection out. That's all I'm going to say. I, you know, I say it enough in our party chat. But this is just the proof, guys. But he is taking a good position to engage the Lorraine and the Tiger 1. As well as the C-75. But the problem is he can't crest without being spotted at the moment. And he can't get his clip away. But... At the same time, he's getting some decent assist damage from lighting the Lorraine and the E-75 up. And he's just biding his time here. The Lorraine pokes out. One shot in. And he has to back up because the Lorraine got a shot in and the Skoda was engaging him as well. So, it's been quite a slow start to the game so far for Jokers. I mean, at this point you would suspect that he's not really going to have that much of a good game. But things do turn around. Let me assure you guys, things do turn around. Now the Lorraine is out in the open. Jokers is going to punish him and get his second kill of the game. Taking him up to eight hits of damage. Two enemy tanks killed. And he's racked up six assisted hits for spotting the opponents in the ditch below him. Now the T-32 is most likely still going to be in and around that region. Jokers just can't spot him at present. And the enemy Skoda T50 lights him up. So he has to back up into cover. 
And now the enemy T-32 is spotted again. So Jokers can engage. He lets the gun aim. Gets one in, which tracks. Gets the second straight through the side. And gets the third in as well. Taking him up to 11 hits of damage. So he's already done a respectable amount of damage at this point. 3,000, probably around 3,000 or so damage at this point in the game. And now the Tiger 1 is in the open as well. Joker should be reloaded by the time this guy is out. He takes a nice blind shot. Unfortunately, it misses. But the second delivers. And the third finishes the Tiger off successfully. Now he has three kills. The enemy Skoda T50 is still down in the dip below him. So he has to be careful. He can't just push over. And now he is being engaged from something that he can't see. Over by his friendly heavy tank in that region of the map so he's probably taken more damage than he would have liked to at this game he's having to play very conservatively now the skoda t50 does not have the best armor at all but the mobility and the gun and specifically the autoloader on this tank make it one of the most dangerous tier 9 medium tanks in the game and we're going to see what he's going to do to this T-32. He goes straight through the turret roof with that shot. And he doesn't have a clean shot on the T-32 other than the Coppola. He's trying to aim for it, but the T-32 is playing smart, rocking back and forth and making it difficult for him. But the good thing is, Joker still has the advantage at this point in the game. And a lovely well-aimed shot into the T-32's Coppola finishes him off. He bided his time. Showed patience, waited for the right opportunity to shoot, and he finished off the T-32 successfully. Which means he's now up to 15 hits of damage, and he has taken out four enemy tanks. Now he can take out the E-75, but he can't finish off the enemy Skoda T-50 with the current clip that he has. So he's going to try a new angle of attack. But he's spotted at this point due to the Skoda T-50 moving away. But if the Skoda's not focusing on Jokers' location, then he should be able to crest this ridge and get some shells in. Now he has another T-32 to engage though. And the Skoda looks as if he got away successfully around the corner. And I think Jokers is going to switch his attention over to this E-75, who is a one-hit for him. And if he can secure that kill... Then he secured his flank and could potentially take another route into the enemy's base to get some more damage done. So at this point, he's waiting for the enemy E-75 to come out, but the E-75 doesn't get spotted. And he's going to load a clip of heat to make sure that the next shells that he fires goes straight through the E-75 and takes him out without any trouble. Now, bearing in mind that Jokers is a one-shot for the E-75 if the E-75 is fully upgraded. He's not taken a shot from the E-75 yet, so it's hard for us to tell. But he can spot the E-75, and the E-75 can't spot him. And the E-75 literally couldn't have made that any easier for Jokers to do what he had to do. So now the E-75 is down. Jokers can retreat. Load a clip of APCR. And think about how he's going to approach the situation. Like I said, he does have the advantage at this point. He's also up to five kills now. There's only three enemy tanks remaining. And he's hunting for his top gun. Now you would think that this way is clear. Being that he took the E-75 out. And that's the passage that he's going to take into the enemy base. The Waffle Panzer IV gets spotted up in front of him. Can't get a shot at him at the moment though because he's blocked by the natural obstruction of the rock. But hiding behind a bush, Jokers can take his shots, track the Waffle with the first shot, and go straight through with the next two damaging the Waffle's gun in the process as well. Lovely, lovely 18 hits of damage so far. And Jokers really wants to secure the top gun at this point. I know he will have been hungry for it. And because the Skoda T-50 has a very decent reload, he gets reloaded in time, 21.9 21, seconds specifically, and then he's going to poke out again. Waffle can't even spot him at this point, 
And he's just going to pick his shots carefully and finish the waffle off to secure his top gun. Reloading once again. There's a T-32 on full health below him, which is who he's going to concentrate on next because the Skoda gets taken out. And now the T-32 is the only target remaining. So just before he reloads, the T-32 is completely tunnel visioned on the tanks in front of him. Jokers get some lovely shots through his side armor and through the engine deck. I think he was patiently waiting for some teammates to do damage to the T-32 here to secure the 7th kill. But he just decides to fire the shell into the T-32 anyway. And as he does, the T-32 gets taken out. So after a successful game, 23 hits of damage, 9 critical hits, 6 kills and 6 assisted hits with 1 tracking assist as well. Let's take a look at how he did in the post-game stats. So, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Jokers had an absolutely crazy game in the Skoda T50. The post-game screenshots say it all. He racked up 6,441 damage with 23 penetrations, destroying 6 enemy tanks along the way, and picking up 2,761 assisted damage, 320 damage blocked, Probably one shell blocked from someone in that game somewhere. I don't even remember him bouncing a shell, but there you go. He picked up the high caliber medal, as well as a first class mastery badge, the top gun medal, and a sniper medal. So a very, very impressive result indeed. Racking up a grand total of 71,076 silver for his efforts, as well as 5,000 992 experience with the daily double XP bonus. Taking a look at the team stats, we can see that Joker's topped his team by an absolute mile. Pretty much 3,000 damage above his closest competitor in the T54. And just over 2,500 damage over the closest competitor on the enemy team, which was the enemy E75. If we delve deeper into the details... And take a look at the statistics. We can see that he fired 26 shots that game. 24 directly hit the mark. And 23 of those shells penetrated as you guys already know. He damaged 7 enemy tanks that game. Of which 6 he destroyed. And he did take more damage than he would have liked to. Because he didn't have much health left. He only had sort of 400 and so health left. But a very, very good effort and just a ridiculous game in this very dominant tier 9 medium tank. The tier 10 version is even better. Arguably the most dominant tank in the game right now. I'm just going to put that out there. Or well, not the most dominant tank in the game, but definitely the most dominant medium tank in the game. Like 100%. 100%. Such a good tank. And I really need to grind the check line because... I just haven't yet and I need to get the tier 9, I need to get the tier 10 and I need to dominate with them as well. But Jokers, once again, thank you for sending me the replay. It's always a pleasure to put good games like this on show. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy. As always, I will catch you in the next one. And until then, I hope you have a great day. Peace out. Boom, boom, boom.